What's up, guys? This is Andy. Welcome to the Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty. We have two games left in Season 9. We just took down Oregon State. That was That's what I call kind of our intermission in the gauntlet. So our gauntlet, again, is the last four games of the season. Every year, Cal is pretty good. As you can see here, they're an A+. Plus. We have Arizona State at a B plus. They're usually actually better than that. And they're seven and three, so obviously they're good. And USC, uh, ranked number five in the country. They're currently an A minus. Those three games are the gauntlet. And just to reset on that, we when we joined the Pac-10, we booted out UCLA and we assumed their schedule. So we play these same teams at the end of the year every year. So now it's Arizona State. And they've been ranked in the past. Uh, we've I, I'm trying to remember if I've had tough games with them. I, I honestly can't remember. I know we've lost them before because there have been one year we lost all to all three of them. I know. I might have to dig up the historic on that. Yeah, they're, yes, that they've been, we've lost them before. I know we've lost them at least once. Sorry about the, my coffee cup hit the mic. I'm running on only coffee right now. I haven't eaten breakfast. We'll see how that goes. I feel like caffeine's more important. But anyway, today's Arizona State, and it's on the road. And I think they have a pretty decent home field advantage. So, uh, hot routes, audibles, which I don't use a ton of, they will be affected most likely. Recruiting is done for. Little reset. We got a we got six guys. We got this four-star gentleman, outside linebacker, and he's from Fresno. This is kind of the direction we want to go. If we're above, basically, if we're above a three-star. He's got to be a hometown guy at this point. After playing the Space Force Dynasty and seeing how much fun it was to mix, to kind of mix and match and uh, kind of scheme fit with lesser players, it's too much fun. It's too much fun. It's just not as much fun when everybody can do everything. And in this game, just the way the ratings work and all that, guys, if they're good, they can kind of do anything. You know, if, uh, if a tight end's really good, it doesn't matter. Dude, there we go. I like it. Dude, the cat is legit. Why are cats so funny? I love that. Thank you. Um, if you're good, you can kind of do anything. You know, there's not really anything anything that's a scheme fit. But basically, if you can't do something, that's where, you know, in this game, it's like, it's more like things that you can't do. Like, uh, like if you have a safety that's slow or something like that, you're going to have to play a certain way. Or if you have a QB that doesn't have accuracy, you're going to have to play a certain way. But but if you have accuracy, you can kind of do anything, etc. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So we've got the tight end, Hayden. Second Hayden. We had the first Hayden. This is maybe his brother. Uh, Washington. So we got some O-line, tight end. And then I think that guy. So we got two outside linebackers and O-line, basically, and a tight end. And he's from Fresno. So good times. And San Luis Obispo is... Central California, Central Coast. It's not the Valley, but it is Central California. So good times there. And again, that's the direction we want to go with recruiting. We want to get lower guys. You know, if I have to start a fresh, a true freshman, I'd rather he be like a 68 or a 70 at most. You know, I don't, I don't need stud freshmen all the time. All this stuff, like it's, it creates log jams. Just it'll be, it'll be more fun this way. And it's just more realistic. Like a lot of times, a guy, you know, a lot, a lot of times will not get. A lot of playing time until he's at least a sophomore or junior, so I think it's more realistic. So let us pre-scout Arizona State. And also appreciate Legend of the Fallen dropping the emotes using the emote wall. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I know that I think that would be that's I'm looking forward to that. That'll be fun. Dude, my chat broke already. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to their chat. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to do old chat. Okay, how do I... Yeah, that's 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 too bad. Okay, so open here. That's so weird. This one doesn't break. There we go. Wait a minute. Chat capture win form. Yeah, okay. So the emote, oh wait, I need to add the emote wall. So the emote wall is off at the moment. It'll be back on though. Let's see, browser source, I think. Browser, emote wall, boom. I gotta, I guess, move that to the middle of the screen.
All right, emote wall should be back on now. And we're, we just had to revert to the old. <laughs> Pat Hill Santa hat. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. That's, that's awesome. I like that they're adding different filters and stuff for the emotes, because I thought it was just shades and flip and black and white. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, for some reason, the chat capture that has emotes not working today. So we'll work with what we got. So here, Joe Coker, 84 speed. How's his throwing? His throwing is fine. Uh, 84 accuracy. 87 probably is a lot better in this game. Uh, we'll see if that limits him at all, but he can run. So that's their starting quarterback. Kenny Harris, 85 speed. Kind of a bruiser, 74 strength. He doesn't have a lot of weight, but how's his break tackles? Break tackles decent. Yeah, I appreciate it. 85 speed, so we won't have. To, he'll, we should be able to catch him if he get if he hits a hole. Pull back with C receiver. Oh my gosh, their guy is suspended. Dot. Yeah, you see, I, I'm conflicted on this. I'd rather go against this guy. That's too bad. 89 overall, true freshman, 97 speed. 96 agility, 99 kit, 99 acceleration. That's too bad. Too bad for them. I'd rather go against this guy. It's more fun. But they still have speed on the outside. This guy's good. 80, uh, he's he's tall. He's got speed. So they have speed at receiver. So we'll have to respect that deep speed. Marcus Mills, two. Uh, look at the bookend tight ends. How are these guys only a B plus? So their tight end can play. We'll see if they go to him. O line not as hot. That guy's injured. That guy's injured. So left tackle, we do have a bit of a mismatch. We might be able to jump the snap on them. Thank you. Keep this Christmas spirit strong. All right, defensive end. This guy's not starting. Their defensive ends are still really good. D tackle, that guy's suspended. These guys are decent, though. Linebackers. Linebackers, okay. So this is another case. So we had this last week where the guy that's better was second on the depth chart, but then the guy in front was hurt, so he's actually going to play. So their linebackers are pretty good. No dots, though. Where's the dot? You can see there it's a free safety down below. So their corners are okay. Free safety. This guy's a beast. We're going to have to watch out for him. 94 overall, 92 speed. He can fly. And he's got a dot. That means he can hit. Like, what's his tackle rating? Tackle's not that great. So this is kind of a Darren Smith-ish kind of guy. His tackle's not that high. Well, the Darren Smith is, is worse. This is like, what, 62? Strong safety, not so hot. So we could take advantage of this guy, potentially in pass coverage. Or, you know, in the passing game. All right. So we know what we're looking at. Probably going to have to pass today. Front line looked fairly stout. Switch over to the all-whites, as we do. Also, I think next stream, I'm going to try to do the face cam. I don't have it today, obviously. But that was fun last time. Hi, Brad Nessler, joined by the coach. Oh, did they in the simulation? Oh, really? I didn't, you know, and I looked at that last video. I saw that they played. Clear skies Damn. And just beautiful weather here. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be a the battle of undefeated. That's too bad. That's too bad. It's late in the season, and these two Pac-10 yep, teams there it are is. prepared and ready to go to war. And That's okay. The Sun I mean, in, the, in that sense, you know, USC will be playing for pride the and playing for the Rose Bowl berth, I imagine, still. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Dink, right? right? Actually, I don't know how this tiebreaker is. If it's a perfect triangle of who beats who, I don't, I don't know how the game handles that. Like, we beat Cal, Cal beat them, they beat us. I don't know how that works. Want to become famous? Really good on you, Buy coach. followers, primes, anyway, and viewers. Let's down to the field for the coin toss. Buy primes. Why would you do that? The point of getting a prime sub is to get money. So you'd pay for that? I don't understand that. Yeah, that's rocking. My controller's shaking. Pretty cool stadium. I've never been to it. This, I've never been to this or the Arizona Stadium. I've only been to the Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals. Oh. 
my buddies and I went to the uh, Fiesta Bowl a few years back. We, it was uh, Kansas State, Oregon. When Kansas State, you remember uh, Colin, what was his name? Colin something. They do. They can't even win when we want them to win, which is not often. One man backfield. Oh, we got this. Box him out. Yeah. Okay. No, no pi, dude. We almost had one right off the bat. I got the box out. I it hit me in the hands. Well, it hit me kind of in the. See here, I, I, do, I do I not get an animation? I bunny hop. That might have been my problem. I think I bunny hop because I tried to catch it with the crook of my elbow. Man, they're challenging me deep already. Yeah, I guess. I guess I bunny hopped. That's too bad. So who's in coverage here? Is this Wilson, the young guy, right? Yeah. So he got burned. He's also coming from the other side, though. See, this is something I watch for too. He's guarding this guy, but he's he's over here. So I should have. I mean, if I don't want that situation to occur, I would flip this. I would flip the whole play. The thing I don't like is then that puts Muse in deep coverage, and I want Darren Smith in deep coverage. And Muse is fine. I just want to use your Darren Smith deep is all. Yeah, there you go, Colin Klein, exactly. Yeah. And I think Oregon's, Oregon won by a lot. That wasn't that close, unfortunately. It was a fun game. Pretty cool stadium. One man backfield. The uh, the tailgating outside was pretty fun. It was good. Nice play fake. Oh, we got that. Give me that. Yes. Darren Smith, let's go. Back to the house. Dude, come on. Stiff arm. Yes. Freaking go. Dude, that was badass. <laughs> dude, I wanted that TD, though. But dude, what a way to start. Dude, that jump, that was fun. That was freaking fun. Dude, I almost had that. How close were we? Was there anybody else there to save the day if we broke that next tackle? Let's see. Oh, this is a bad angle, sorry. Here we go. Boom, here we go. And he also he tipped it to himself. He didn't even get it initially. Yeah, there we they had a kind of a cavalry come in, so we weren't gonna house that all the way. Twelve yard line. Let's go. Let's go here. This drive will start at the twelve. See, look at how, the stadium pulse. A hundred, over hundred decibels. I never get that. I don't understand. I think it's because so from what I've heard. And I've never really done a dynasty where I just win and win, like go undefeated every single year, year after year. Okay, we're going to McMillan. Get me. Oh, yes, he fell down. Nice. Great start. Ooh, their guy laid out. <laughs> nice. Dude, excellent start. Um, so, ready for the extra point. so from what I've heard, and I, I, I can't vouch for this because I I don't do I, – I just never win and win and win and win in Dynasties. A, it's not that much fun. I want more of a challenge. And in that challenge, and I'm going to lose sometimes. But from what I understand, you have to, I think, w basically go undefeated at home. You Fresh just can never lose at home. If, you're, if you want to gain ground in the to top places to play, you just can't lose at home ever. Off. And I, I'm not even sure what home games I've lost. I might want to go back and look at that. I'd be curious, actually. So Darren Smith kind of having a resurgence here. He had two picks last game. I think he had a pick or two before that. I think that gives him 14 on the year, and for a while it was kind of a dead zone. Not really, uh, I mean, there were two. Shoot, he had a game where he got no stats. I don't think he got a tackle or a pass deflected. Cal beat me at home? Okay, that sounds right. Dude, Legend of the Fallen is the official uh, historian. Dennison Gaming, welcome. Oh my gosh, this guy's taking off. Dude, welcome, man. I know, I, I, wondered if, I wondered who I might get on at streaming at kind of an odd time. Okay, let's man up. We'll go with this with this Thunder Green. Third, third down two. I was kind of curious what peeps might show up. I really had no idea. I just wanted to get a game in. Arizona State lines up in okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, get him. Yes, that might be fourth. Yes. We got lucky that his uh, he did a fall forward backwards and not forwards. But I guess his momentum's taking him backward or sideways. Yeah, we got lucky there. I was guarding uh, this guy over here. I was kind of hoping he'd throw it to him because I had inside position to try to jump it. Fourth and one. The Sun Devils line up the punt. 
Yeah, thanks for thanks for coming in, guys. You guys gonna watch some NFL today? Is back deep to I'm a Dolphins fan. Uh, that's a fair catch. Oh no, it didn't give it to me. That was weird. I must have done it too late. Man, he's freaking hurt. I mean, we're we're thin at corner. I hope he's not hurt too badly. Because if he comes out, we're we're not that good. So he's my best corner. Matt Hunter. He, yeah, he's a good safety. So he's my second corner. Yeah, it's. Dude, McDougal's my third corner. In this situation, yikes! I might want to sub in Peoples. Yeah, I'll have to see. I, I don't know. Because he's also, he hasn't moved that, that well, McDougal. Yikes. Let's see, tight end drag. I, I like this play a lot. I kind of forgot about it last game. Yeah, so I'm a Dolphins fan, so I do want to finish this before the first wave of kickoffs. They're playing the Patriots today. And they're always tough, and they're so well coached. Okay, we're going Hollis here. Oh, we have Waller back. I forgot. Okay, we got to give the ball to Waller. We got to get him going. He's so good, and I missed him for a long time. Um, yeah, the Patriots are always tough. I know they're on a down year. It's second down and eight to go. Would that get him in the playoffs? Dude, the NFC East is so wacky. Fresno State sets up with okay, we just want. Dude, look at their linebacker is he's full green. So they're in linebacker rush right now, and they have full green linebackers rushing. Okay, we're going to give to the Waller here. Oh my gosh, dude. Was that just preordained that they were going to get a great jump? Like, is there anything I could have done to avoid that? Yeah, so that's so from what you're saying, it sounds a lot like if that happens, then the Giants will make the playoffs, which would be, that would be pretty funny. That'd be crazy. Let's go with this X dig. Let's see. I'm not really sure who I want to look at here. I think if it's if it's a heavy blitz and it's man, I think I want to go baller. If it's regular man, just with regular coverage, I think Harper. Otherwise, maybe Dean if I have to dump off. Let's see. Okay, they're blitzing. Oh, we're going Dean. Oh, yeah. No, no, he didn't get it. Dude, I saw that, too. I made the right read. I just couldn't get the turn up field that I wanted. So what happens? It's like I turn the wrong. I don't know. I don't know what happened. That was the read, though. Because here, this could get jumped for a pick with this guy because they're in they're in zone. Zone defenders in this game will pick you like none other. So you have to make sure you're making the right read against zone. And he was it. That's too bad. Uh, let's move the regular punt. And the Giants, who? Is Daniel Jones playing? I'm trying to remember. I know there was, what? Alex Smith is hurt, so Dwayne Haskins is playing. Is Daniel Jones healthy? WTF. That's what you think of all that like that. That's pretty funny. Dude, that is, that is the wackiest division. And that seems to happen from time to time, but it's extra wacky this year. Arizona State lines up with three receivers. Harris. Come on, come on. There we go. Nice. Stout front. Harris gains about a yard on the play. It's second and nine. I watched the Giants play not too long ago. Didn't they lose kind of a heartbreaker where they sort of came back? I'm blanking on who it was against though. And they actually looked like they were somewhat cohesive. I'm going to have to eat my coffee up at halftime. We'll go Thunder Green again. This worked last time. Aren't, are they coming out in jumbo again? Okay, one wide receiver. So I'm on the dot tight end. We'll play middle, though. Okay, there he goes. Oh, get the oh, Damn it. It's okay. We got him. And that's the risk. We, we had no coverage deep. We were playing up, up tight. Tight up front. Close. Dude, I almost had, like here, I sort of have position, but I just don't whip around. Oh, and he warps up. See, if he's just running downfield, I actually have position, but he's running kind of like a little post or something toward the middle of the field. I've had a lot of fun running man defense the last uh, couple of games. Although if they're pass, passing around on me and I'm not defending it very well, I'm going to have to go to zone because zone is a lot better. Coker on play and the big fellow with some room. Dude, I actually used the hit stick there. I usually don't, but we were, it was set up pretty well for that. 
And this is a funny thing about this game. The best time to use hit stick is really not a realistic time at all. It's when you're kind of running the same direction as the guy you're trying to tackle. Basically, if, if it, it because because we're running sort of the same direction here, it makes it very very easy to set up the big hit stick, and uh, it makes it super easy to set up. So then you know, like you know, you're running the same direction, so you know it's going to hit. As opposed to if you're kind of if he's coming like this way and you're coming from the side, it's going to be harder to line up because you're going to have to time it right. Here, there's basically no timing. I just get close and flick the stick. Colt McCoy. That's okay. That's what I heard. Colt. Yes. Okay. So I just couldn't remember what the deal was exactly. He got more injured. Dang. So he. Yeah. It, it wasn't serious though, right? But he is dinged up. Let's blitz. Let's blitz a guy. Where's the linebacker? There it is. Dog gold. It's second down and about three yards. Okay, yard. one more try, then we're going zone. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Awesome. Oh, no. lets it fly. oh, dude, I got greedy. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. Wait, Edwards, though, he's our good guy, right? And he's back. Yes, he's back. Okay, that's good. That's good. I guess I should have gone for the bat down. I had position, though. That's surprising. I, that's surprising I didn't get any kind of animation there. But you know what? I, I shouldn't say that. If he had a dot, he would, but he doesn't have a dot, so that needs to be a bat down. Let's stick with this, because I really liked how they threw it last time I called this. The last two times they've thrown uh, play action at me. Do they? So they have good DBs like that? That's cool. That's fun when it's, you're in that early stage where you can see what might be. Do they still have the only player I can think of in their secondary? I know they drafted Eli Apple a couple years ago. I don't know if he's even any good or even one of the guys. Though. Let's go Maddox. Yes. Oh, Maddox is back. Haas, uh, we've had Haas the last couple weeks. So we're getting our guys involved. Do we have anybody else real open? Not really. I mean, Waller is open, but he doesn't have much room. And he had a dot on him. So this is where my offense should thrive if they're blitzing a ton. That's basically what my offense is designed to beat. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Oh, no. No, no, no. And this one falls incomplete. He just way overthrew it. And I did precision pass to try to lead him, but that obviously was a mistake. Oh, hey. He just overthrew him that time. Yeah, he just missed his man. Good play call. Bad pass. Yeah, that's the truth. Let's see. Let's go halfback wheel. Right. Second, Second and down and 10 to go. On the 37 he might be the first. Hey, I, people would say Brian Flores is doing a pretty good job in Miami. The Bulldog. So maybe it's a race to that, but it's true. The track record is not there at all. He's looking to pass. He okay. looks. Boom. There we go. Set a block. Look at that. Oh, I couldn't get around it, though. That's too bad. Oh, man. That's tough. I kind of want to keep the play because it's third and short. Hmm. Second and five, third and two. I think we got to take the penalty, unfortunately. As fun of a play as that was, I think that's what we have to do. Uh, let's see. P. Reed here is from this. I do like this play. So, I, if I remember right, though, I think, is it Peterson 07, I think? You're right about them being overpowered. So, I think Reggie Bush was 06. I think Adrian Peterson was 07. Boom, Victor Dean. Nice. Let's get out. Oh. He's out of bounds at the 47. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young But yes, it's true. They were crazy. The I mean, I, the things, the so one score. of my, my buddies, actually, uh, Audrey Potamus, you've seen him on here. He uh, He's a USC fan, and he'd use USC a lot. And dude, the things he would do with Reggie Bush were out of hand. They'll work from the shotgun. 
I'd ha I'll have to ask him about this. I think Reggie Bush. So one thing that is kind of unrealistic. I'm not going Maddox here. Let's see what the position's like. No or not. Goodness. Okay, I'll, Harper's too late. We're getting rid of this. A 90 overall. <laughs> and, and Madden is a rookie? That has to be what you mean, right? A 90 overall. Okay, you're right then. Oh, my gosh. I know that's somewhat randomized. That is nuts. I've never seen that. I think the highest I've ever seen would be like a defensive end or something that's like an 88. That's that dude. That's a record, I think. That has to be a record. Oh, no. Darn it. We're in the zone, too. Couldn't break a sack. So how was our... We actually could have gotten a pass off. Well, not really. If the right hand didn't get me, the left one would have. So let's go here, receiver middle. I'm really glad we have this formation back in. That's that's crazy. But he's really good in 07, too. I mean, Adrian Peterson is in 07. Uh, let's go ahead and block Waller. We're not going to him. And also the... Yes, he was really good, right? Uh, Boston College, right? So we're not getting any. Okay. okay, let's just get McMillan. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that was the only place we could really go. Deep, they had they had a Harper covered. That was what they gave us. Okay, let's just go Sky Punt. Try to pin him back. I do remember with Ice Cube Nuka. I forgot about him, though. Who else was super stud? I feel like Oklahoma offensive linemen will always be studs. Let's see. I don't punt that often. Oh, that's right on the sideline. That's about as good as it gets. So they beat this defense up through the air on their last drive. Let's see if they can replicate that performance this time around. Oh, it definitely does, yeah. The players come out better than they do on auto-generated. They're way, way better. I still want to do a Madden Sim Dynasty at some point. Okay, I gotta be on my toes here. Oh, what is this? We got this, we got this! No! Dude, I didn't get an animation. I thought I was in position. Dude, that's garbage. I, you know what? The only thing I can think of here is if the ball is kind of in this vector here, maybe I'm on the right of it and I need to be on the left. Because I cut right, but I, maybe I cut myself kind of out of the plane of where the ball is going. Dude, thank goodness for uh, Shannon Edwards, dude. That was a boss play. He's the, he's the near corner. Look at the makeup. Okay, also he throws it a bit early. If he waits to throw this, Edwards is not going to make this play. But because he throws it when Edwards is still fairly close to him, Edwards is able to turn around and catch up. Wow, that would have been terrible if Edwards wasn't there. But yeah, they, they come out so much better. Um, they, yeah, that, that's just how these games are. Like, the, the farther you get into dynasties, you'll get guys – you'll just get tons of high 90s players that you don't get in regular draft classes. Back to pass. He's looking for his there we go. Man. He snags it. I like this punch. Look at this punch action. That's sweet. Boom. He went for it. I mean, he didn't, he didn't get it, but that's pretty cool. Loss. So here, let's try Let's try to jump the snap here. This is a little bit dicey because uh, we haven't really tried it yet today. So my eyes aren't completely. Oh, I got the great jump. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Get him. Oh, no. Okay, that guy can he can run, so we didn't account for that. So next time it might be better to take a safety so that I can guard that better manually. Not a whole lot going on as far as throwing the ball there. He makes a wonderful decision, bringing it down and making a big play. Ooh. Oh, dang it. Oh, nice. Forced the completion. Another thing that's funny, too, with the exported draft classes is you'll get guys that are studs in real life, but in the game they're like an 82 overall. Because I think, I want to say DeMarcus Ware. I want to say DeMarcus Ware was only like, he's like a fourth-round pick <laughs> in the draft class. Oh, we're, we got this. We got this. Give me that. Dude. Incomplete pass. The ball is did, this, did this not hit me in the hands? I didn't get an animation again. No, dude, look at that. I missed it. I tried to undercut. I didn't have position. But I'm there, though. I mean, being there counts for a lot. So, third and ten. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, I think DeMarcus Ware is like a fourth-round pick if you do the export. But then, you know, in real life, he was like super stud high pick. 
Arizona State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Coker back to throw. <sighs> Steps up in the pocket. Rolls Get there. Up. Get there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Nice. Coverage sack. It was, they, they really had nobody, huh? Oh, yeah. They're the cover two. Covered it perfectly. They don't have anybody. So if he has more time, he can maybe hit this guy. But uh, he's about to get hit. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And you could always go in and edit him, I guess. Because if I remember right, you can edit. You can edit players. You just can't edit their year, if I remember right. No! Oh, Max on the ball. Let's maybe get him out. McMillan's been good. Let's get McMillan in there. He's been good on kickoffs, at least. Okay. They'll go to work at the 39 yard line. Take over at the 39 yard line. Fresno State. So here I kind of want, I would like to hit Hollis on the delay if they blitz heavily. I'll just, you know, drop back and try to buy, buy a second or two. Okay, actually, let's hit Harper. No, damn it. Oh my gosh, dude. I. Yeah, that's frustrating. How many did they rush? They freaking run. They blitz seven guys. No, six. They rush six. That's frustrating. Because I'm specifically looking for that. That's why it's more, even more so frustrating. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 27. Looks like zone. This could be a waller. Actually, this could be. If they don't, if they don't blitz, this could be a scramble. They do blitz one. Actually, we got Maddox. We got Maddox. Oh, get that. Yes. Dude, their pursuit is so good. I had nowhere to go. I mean, I, I would have gotten like five yards. I would have gotten a baby here if I ran. Let's go here. Option pass. We can give to Hollis maybe. 5-2, though. Pinch in. Pinch in. Huh? Huh? No. Negative. The Bulldog. Line up uh, let's switch wide. to Z post. Number 16, oh, and they can't hear me. Who is it, though? I think it was like an offensive lineman. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. This should destroy a 5 2. Looks to pass. He's looking. Oh, get that Victor Dean. Get big. No, come on. Oh, my gosh. Too bad. We had it beat. We had it beat good. Okay, second down. It's okay, it's only first down. He sure did. Let's go here, halfback no circle. Well, that's fun. Reggie McNeil, dude. He was an online beast. Any QB, see, the, basically every QB in the game can throw pretty well. And it, it, he was actually pretty good in real life, too. That's, I'm not trying to say he wasn't a good passer. Okay, here they come. McMillan, give me. Dude, this guy almost warped in front. And had position, so we're, we're dropping it right now like mad. He's also not my possession guy. He's one of the speedster. Harper's the possession guy. Let's actually go here. Let's go X dig again. This was pretty good on third down before, but now I need to look more for Harper McMillan. And I might be willing to go for it if I get into like a fourth and short situation. Drops back to pass. A field, a field. Get it. Now this is the spot that I just talked about, but I think I'm too, I'm too scared to go for it. Let's pin him back. So we had a really good punt last time on the sideline. It was beautiful. So let's see if we can do that again. It was like, it was like that. Okay, this actually uh, not that good. 14. Man, I don't, was I on the right, not on the right hash last time or something? That was unfortunate. That's fun. And actually, the, the Madden Sim Dynasty, I don't want to give away too much, but I was going to do a relocation as well. Get out there. Nice. Muse. So this is working pretty well playing man. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. And it's good. Uh, this is pretty good for Ben, but don't break. 
because I don't have to worry about giving up the deep pass. Basically, a deep, not so much not deep pass, but not deep pass touchdowns as much. Gosh, nice. Play the wood. A nice completion to the tight end. A but I don't I really don't know when that Madden Dynasty is gonna be. Nice I'm taking a break after this season. The really not sure. I might have to blitz eventually. Coker to the air. Okay. okay. Oh, to, you got it. You got it. freaking loose. Oh, I'll get that. Yes! Dirk Smith! Let's go. Let's freaking go. There's a player injured. Lucked out. Ah, oh, it's my starting linebacker. That doesn't look that bad. Something yeah, it's nice. You can square guys up and just go for it. I think I've gotten, I think I've gotten literally maybe at most two face masks this whole dynasty off of user strips. It just doesn't happen. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent side of the 50. Oh, look at the momentum too. Huge. Okay, I think I want to look Hollis if they blitz heavily. They really don't. Oh, oh hard. Yeah, dude. Couldn't quite get to him. Dude, we're just not getting the blocks right now. But I need to have better routes in line for quick passes. Like that Victor Dean three wide. Uh, I, I got to have quicker reads and preferably two receivers. So this is looking like zone. So this could be Maddox again getting loose on that post. He gets, he finds the seam. Looks to pass. He rolls left. Dude, look at the speed on this guy. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh, look at that bowling ball. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. 16 on the carry, gain of 10 on the play. That that would be a dynamic duo for sure in Madden 07. Reggie McNeil, Adrian Peterson. Third and inches. Let's go tight and drag. I don't trust my line to like just run it here. Ball on the 30-yard line. In true form, they have five guys on the line of scrimmage. Okay. They'll work from the shotgun. I might want to look at Maddox here too. If they blitz, he should be open at some point. Oh, uh, yep, get there. No! That had to have been a spy. Who? Where? Yep, it's a freaking spy. Yep, look at him. Because he runs up, look at him just stand there. Dude, that is so cheesy. Look at this garbage. That's a spy. He's freak. He's literally just finding, he, he finds a place down in the foxhole and just pops out right when I pass it. That's awful. <laughs> I mean, that's if you could do that in real life, you'd always do that. So yes, I'm going to run up and hide behind six foot five linemen, and then right when you pass it, dude, that is crazy. That's crazy. Did I have anybody else? I really didn't have anybody else to be honest. That was kind of the read. So I could maybe get it into Waller, but see at this point, if I throw a wall, I'm getting hit. It's going to be a wobbler to Waller, and that's probably that's probably picked. So they literally covered every pass route while rushing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They rushed seven dudes and covered every pass route. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty four yard line. The twenty four yard line. First and ten. Hmm. Is this they a run left? That's line. usually how they start out in these formations. No. Nope. Let's it fly. Yeah, have to start. Uh, you know, I say we start playing zone, but we've got stops. And I kind of feel like the man defense gives me more opportunities for strips and things like that. It's like I just I get more square ups and more opportunities for that. They come out in a nickel. Coker drops back. Coker. But they're not they're not throwing at me. They're throwing short. So maybe we do need to go for some uh, some zone. So let's call man. We'll audible the zone. Are they even in three wide? I didn't. Know. Yeah, they are. Okay, here we go. Arizona State lines up with three receivers. He's looking to pass. He unloads. Yes. Okay, that's the kind of thing we're looking for. That's funny. That that's probably the same pass they would have thrown if it was uh, if it was man. They still threw it. Second down okay, and 10 to go. Ball on the mm. If they don't snap it right away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush. Nickel defense. Yeah, they do. Makes a move. Nice. Oh, he there. On Front line's too stout. Front he seven. He just oh, the right let's to do the this line. again. The defense comes out in the dime package. Coker. Late. Yes. Oh, he ran right into that. He was scrambling, too. Look at him. He's taking off. Not sure why. That's weird. 
because he had protection, but he runs right into that. But that cover two, I think, covered about everything there. Okay, so we do have McMillan in now for punt returns. So the punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Man, and that spy is still it's McMillan. it's still aggravating me because that's been a huge thing in this dynasty is watching for spies on in, in their pass coverage because spies are so good McMillan at getting interceptions. Oh, McMillan! Oh no, he's not going to get it. That's okay. That's a nice little hole. That's fun. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big. Let's see, if he got PF a slide, blocks, P. Reed. Yeah, let's go with this. First down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, this could be a manual counter situation. Or not, they have up that side. Lines up in a shotgun mm. set. Ooh, I'm thinking more swing out to Hollis. Oh, they actually jumped early. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Muscle them out. Okay, the, the best I could hope there for was uh, to not get picked. If I could have gotten my feet squared up, look at Maddox. He was so open. But it was off the back foot. Hollis, I thought was open initially, but he wasn't. Darn it. Maybe they're getting to the QB right now. Memphis, halfback circle, what do we got, what do we got, angle. It's second down. Ball on the 33-yard line. If we could get McMillan isolated again, maybe the DB Fresno will State. go Comes Superman again. With three wide. Drops back to pass. Darn it, he's, okay, he is isolated. Look at that, he did it again! He took himself out of the play. Let's go, McMillan, hoof it out. Nice. He's all the way down to the 26. What a display of pure. Wow, he's roasting that dude. Yeah, see, he watched him go for the little inner, little, well, it was a bat down, but his animation took him out of the play. This guy is everything to be. No one didn't work. We need to keep going to him, I guess. Although we had to play, he, he's, he's had, had, he has had a big drop, actually. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do mesh. So we're rolling out Mills. Bringing in a fresh arm. Mills. Lines up with four wideouts. No, 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 no. Watkins. Ah! Rolls to the left. Dude. Ah, man. The closing speed's too good. I also threw that way too late, so I got lucky. It wasn't picked. Second down. Let's go with option pass. I would like to run it here. Except they keep stacking the box against my three wide. Hmm. Let's fan the line. We'll, we'll, we'll execute. We'll run this play. That'd be fun. Can you do that mid dynasty or mid uh, what is it franchise? They go with the option. No, I got scared because of the dot. Uh, we'll have to get rid of this. I got scared. So Dean was open, but dude, with this guy, he can easily run up and, and pick it. Because this is zone, right? Yeah, see, it's zone against zone. That's super dicey. I know he looks open, but defenders in zone on Heisman especially are superhuman. They could easily run up and pick that. So. I had to let that go. So we can at least get three here. Let's okay, let's do this. Half back circle. They line up at the 26. Third and we've ten. got third and ten. Oh look at this, they're showing man. I should be able to hit Harper. So let's sell out on that. We'll see though. <laughs> if they blitz heavily and I don't have time to pass, I actually might have to go Victor Dean. Because I do need a couple of seconds to get it to Harper. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. He throws right Harper, get me. Yes. Look at the big hit. He held on. Okay. Oh, there you go. And so you can just change to a different team. Oh, and then right. Then it gives you it gives you reloc relocation options off season, thing, right? They're showing man again. Right, we're gonna have to go for McMillan. First down. Look at the throw. Looks. We got that. He oh, no, dude. <laughs> this DB, he cannot catch a break. He he has not even gotten a hand on McMillan in those three passes. Touchdown, the one before this, and there. He's going for some weird bat down animation. Dude, he is the whipping boy right now. Oh, he went for a slide pick. I know, dude. He's having a bad time. He's having a real bad time. And they line up for the point after. He makes the PAT, though with less than two to go in the second quarter. Who's from the Patriots? Fresno State, 14. Oh, Arizona Flores. State. We're talking about uh, New England coaching Fresno tree. State. But it's still, it's. I mean, it, Flores seems good, but the jury. I mean, it, he's not. It's he's. 
You know, it's been two. It's been a season and a half. So I wouldn't say. Uh, oh, you know. Okay, you know who else is is a uh, is a uh, Belichick coaching tree? Not really. He's not really considered. But I think Pat Hill coached on the Browns when Belichick was the coach of the Browns. I think. Urban Meyer, welcome. Fourth CFP spot. So here's what I don't know. So who 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 are the who are the likely suspects? Is it A and M and Notre Dame? The Devils come out in a two tight end set. If it's between A and M and Notre Dame, I kind of feel like they'd give it to Notre Dame, which I think is lame. Oh, dude, I, who who are the who are the candidates though? I was really hoping that uh, Iowa State would win so that they'd have a chance. Cincinnati? Oh, that's just surprise. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't know. They're only ranked like number nine, so I don't know if they. Uh, I don't know if they can gain enough. Florida, yeah, yeah, because they were they lost and they were already ranked a little bit lower. Formation here. Coker, back to pass. He throws it. Okay, we got that covered. Complete. Or not. Bad He's angle. Oh, no. Bowling ball. Damn it. I don't, think, I don't think Notre Dame should be in either. OU, I think they're ranked a little bit too low. I don't think they can gain enough. I, I don't like it, but I think they'll give it to Notre Dame. I would probably rather see A&M just so we see a different team. I, I personally think the playoff overall has been a huge disappointment. They're finding, oh, no, bowling ball. Oh, look at that. That was, dude, that was crazy. As soon as he peeled off of his bowling ball, and actually, Darren Smith, he denied the bowling ball. And as soon as he comes out of that recovery, well, in the wood. Yeah, exactly. And also, um, it makes you think what would have been if Clemson had their QB when they played the first time. That was a huge reason Notre Dame even won in the first place. Lawrence was out. So I think Notre Dame should be excluded. But because, oh, look at that. Joseph, let's go. We had an angle over here. Convoy. Awesome. Middle zone. Right he hasn't seen any that. action, I don't think, well, of that middle really zone. Hurts here. They're trying or very to little. Into that lead no bat downs or anything. That's nice. Time, but unfortunately, this turnover uh, was still yeah, so I, I, I feel like the they, they might give it to Notre Dame, but that's because I just don't trust the committee the to do anything interesting. So I feel, feel like it'll be Notre Dame. I'd rather see AM. and Honestly, I would really – I would have loved to see Cincinnati – or uh, or Iowa State, like if they got high enough, I think that would have been more, a lot more fun. Oh, Sideline, dude, not enough. Yeah, they they're making speeds too good. You got out though. Okay, you got out You know this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. Coastal Carolina, that would be super fun. They look legit. Well, uh, let's go with this receiver players. They're running pretty much all two back. Okay, they finally come out and dime now. That's where it'll be good, Dennis and Gaming. I agree 100%. I think the playoff system as it exists now is not good. Okay, Walter. With a little space, and he can get out of bounds. Not flashy dot, man. Nope. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll be where it's at. I honestly feel like the college playoff as it is is worse than the BCS. I thought the BCS was superior to what we have now. Because the, then the trade-off to me is that in the current system, the non-playoff bowls are devalued to almost nothing. Like, who cares? Pretty much all bowls are devalued to almost nothing. I guess I'm reading that left end. I wouldn't mind giving to Hollis. I have all three timeouts, right? Yeah. He didn't block it. Oh, no. Uh, I guess we're calling timeout. Yeah, we're calling timeout. So, uh, it basically, it made all the bowls that aren't playoff not interesting. But then the playoff bowls themselves have not been good. They're all blowouts. I mean, how often are they? They're, they're mostly blowouts. I looked up the margin, the average margin of victory one time, and it's just crazy. They're not good games. And I think part of that, and it's, it's partially circumstantial, or heavily circumstantial, I feel like, because I feel like there's less parity in college football now. Because I, I feel like, so when I really started watching a lot of college football, it was like early 2000s. And I feel like now there's less parity. I feel like more of the talent is concentrated with the top teams. Because before you had you had kind of different teams at the top, but now it's every year it's the same teams. You know, there, there's, there are teams I consider to basically be pro teams in college football. Uh, obviously Alabama, 
I did not do that. Okay, let's go McMillan, though. Get that. Oh, he didn't get out of bounds, though. So, like, Alabama, LSU, Oklahoma, Ohio State, Clemson. It's the same teams at the top every year. Okay, if it's zone, I want to hit Harp deep. It is. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. We're running. We're running. Okay, we get out of bounds, too. That's nice. Very nice. I actually could have thrown it to Harper. Like, I could have skied this. I could have sky jumped this. He has inside position, but I was already running. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. Wait, the sim doesn't affect the... Oh, anyway, so my overall point was we're seeing the same teams every year in the playoff. And before it, I just thought I thought the I thought the BCS system was way more interesting because people still cared about the Fiesta Bowl and the Rose Bowl. People still cared. It was fun. It made it was big. Now making if you make a, a New Year's Six or whatever bowl, but it's not the playoff. Nobody cares. It's not that interesting. And I say nobody cares. I'm extending my own feeling to other people. I it's just not that interesting. It was way better before because those other bowls still mattered, you know. And I think it's a fault of. Sports media, you know, the rings argument. Oh, good. He doesn't have the rings. He doesn't have the rings, you know. Uh, apparently, Dan Marino is trash. And Joe Montana is, you know, way better than Dan Marino, that kind of argument. It's not true. You know, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, didn't win the championship. It doesn't matter. Well, college football, it's an imperfect system. I feel like those bowls did matter. And now that meaning is gone. So, I just, I, I think the current playoff is terrible. I think it's terrible. I think it's boring and terrible. But the, the expansion will be where it's at. Because where you do have variation is in the, is in the top, in like, the 8 to 10, you do have variation. Dude, what is this? Okay, I want to go option here. I have two timeouts, right? Yes, I do. Okay, we're going to try it audible. We only get probably one shot at it. Double option. We don't even have it. Let's go Z post, though. Okay, so here's probably Victor Dean, as long as they don't have a freaking spy or Hollis. We'll just see here. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Actually, we can hit Waller. Ah, this is dicey. So this is not. Damn it. Okay, did I have Victor Dean? I absolutely did not. I could have scrambled right and tried to hit Hollis. That's about it. Okay, so I have one more chance here. Uh, dude, if I if only I had corner sit. I love corner sit. But I think there's another formation that has that. I think it might be in five wide. Twin slants. Hmm, interesting. That might be the ticket. Four verticals, dig smash. Okay, I'm thinking, actually thinking dig smash, except I'm going to audible or hot route B out. Okay, that doesn't... This is crap. Okay, on the play call screen, that little arrow route, like look at the route for L, or excuse me, Y, Carter. On the play call screen, that actually goes close to the end zone. So we're going to have to leave Harper. Let's see what I want to do here. It's actually... Uh, I'll leave. I'll leave everything. This is probably just not going to work. So we got Dean or Harper. I might, the scrambling might be the best option here. We're oh, running for it. Oh, we got this. Nice. Oh, big, dude. Big days of mobility. Right, so what did you resim? Because you, you had to resim to where Miami lost and went 10 and 3 instead, or what? Just like you did, Mr. Hermstreet, with the Buckeyes. Yeah, dude, their coverage is too good. I don't have anything. So here I kind of have, is this uh, McMillan, actually? Yeah. The name pass protection just broke down. Yeah. So, oh, Legend of the Fallen, I didn't completely read your, comprehend your comment. They have more top 25 wins in Texas A&M. I did not know that. So if they don't have the top 25 wins, I mean, does Notre Dame have a better resume then, despite losing twice to Clemson? And A&M only lost to Alabama, right? And this is just a booming kick. Yeah, they used to get so many weird things with... Uh, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. All right, I was wondering what what did the re, what did the sim change? Is what I was curious about. Over, like they must have lost take in the sim in the resim. Let's move back. Aaron, it's a handoff 
Yeah, but I really, I, I like OU. OU is one of my kind of tertiary teams I root for. My uh, my grandpa is from Oklahoma. He's a big OU fan. So I wouldn't mind seeing them in it. Because the reason I wouldn't mind seeing OU, even though they're one of the teams that is in it a lot, is because I want to see them do well. They haven't done well yet. All right, halftime. I'm going to take just a moment break. I'm going to go heat up my coffee. So I'll be back in just a couple minutes, guys. We'll review stats and get on with the second half. So I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. What's up, guys? Yes, I am. I am OP. Not sure how to pronounce that one. Welcome. We are playing 07. I was just taking a little break at halftime to heat up my coffee. We're going to check out some stats, some halftime stats, and then continue with the game. All right, welcome. So let's check it out. So the name of the game has been defense. We had a pick that we ran back close to a touchdown that got us a score. Uh, we intercepted them on another pass that set us up with some momentum and good field position. So I feel like we've had one drive summary. What an what an unhelpful screen here. I guess it only gives you your most recent drive, which for them was one play. Pretty light on offense. We like to be more around like 400 total for a game, but it's it's a, this is a top team. I mean, Arizona State's super good. Their record's seven and three, but they're a uh, are they a B plus overall? Do they have good players? I don't know how they're only a B plus. So running has been tough for both teams. Tough sledding. We've been better in the passing game. 24 attempts for 134 yards for them is not great. I I, I really think this is it. Uh, I and um, if now I I've always played on Xbox, so Xbox did not get the later editions like nine, ten, eleven. O nine looks really cool. O nine has a ton of good stuff. If o, if O nine was on regular Xbox, that might be the ticket. The only thing I'm not sure about with O nine is if it has the whether it has the pursuit angle bug. I think overall this is my favorite. People talk about, so and we've talked about this a few times, and I'll discuss this as we go through stats here. Third down's not good. We've had one turnover. Dude, the pick, dude, I and you should have seen this pick that I threw. is ridiculous. I mean, it's in the clips or whatever, but they, uh, I don't know if you play these old ones very much, but basically I had a crossing route over the middle. They blitzed like seven dudes. The, the middle's wide open. Well, it turned out that one of the guys that rushed was actually a spy, and he just ran up and hid behind the lineman, and he looked like he was rushing. So I threw it to the crossing route. He just worked back and picked it. It was it was pretty frustrating. But anyway, when people... Yeah, this is regular Xbox, correct? This is regular old Xbox. This is something that, we, that gets talked about in here. I prefer 07 over 06. Most people, when they talk about old NCAs, will talk about 06. 07 is so much better, but people don't want to give it the light of day. But I like how they're spreading it around. Their offense is actually good. I've been running a lot of man, too. I've been kind of giving them uh, shorter routes in man coverage. But it's also produced a couple of turnovers, so that man coverage. But yeah, I think 07, this is 07 on regular Xbox. I think it's, I think it's way better than 06. It has improved animations. It has just more fun player interactions. There's a lot more variation. I think uh, this. I think the AI is way better. Like the the overall game on higher difficulties is actually fun. On 06 and below and, and prior to that, Heisman difficulty is just like it's basically impossible to where it's not even fun. Okay, there you go. Yeah, 09 on PS2. I've I've seen some guys playing that on an emulator. Check out uh, Tone Retro Gaming. T O N E. Retro Gaming. Search that on YouTube. Check him out. He's He's been putting out some 09 stuff. Uh, that there's 09 looks legit. Oh, 09 has gang tackling. Yeah, 09 looks like it has a bunch of cool stuff. It has auto motion uh, plays. It has more variation. Um, one thing that I that I think is super cool about 09 is, you know, that there's a play in a, there's a, a trips formation where it's basically like a, an option sweep to a receiver. Well, there's one where it's like a read. You can hand it off to the receiver or not. There's just so much cool stuff you can do that make the game really fun and give it more variation. So if 09 was on regular Xbox, that might be the ticket. And also, if I had a good enough computer, I would try emulating it, but my computer's way too old. I'll probably build another computer in the upcoming year, but uh, for now, my computer's way too old to emulate. 
Uh, it can stream okay, but it can't emulate. And the funny thing is, I can play regular games okay. I have a decent graphics card, GTX 970, but uh, I can't, I can't uh, emulate that game. I tried. It's choppy. Darren Smith having another good game. He's got one pick. So uh, I know. So I won the Heisman last year with this, with this safety. I had, I think, 24 interceptions. It was an incredible year. It was awesome. My games are on YouTube as well under Expanding Man. If you look up Expanding Man. Yeah, I think this is this game is way better than 06. But there are a couple of things that people pick on that they don't like. So for one, you'll see right here is the return camera. They don't like this. You can't work around this. Like if I paused right now and went back during the return, it would revert to I think the zoom out camera. But people don't like that. They don't like jump the snap, which jump the snap kind of sucks. But it's it's rough. But you know, blocking's not going to be perfect in real life. And so to me, it's actually realistic. 20 bucks. I feel like that's a pretty good find. Is that a Craigslist or what? That has to be like a Craigslist or a buddy or something. Okay, here they come. Waller. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, nice, actually. That was kind of surprising. The guy took kind of a bad angle. He runs, he runs over here, you know. If you're in real life, you're going to go over here to try to tackle him. Let's see. Let's go up and pass on around. Yeah, off her up. There you go. Off her up seems good. I've heard it's kind of a mixed bag, though. Number 16. I sold a desk on off her up. I, I really want to just hand it off to Hollis here. Ah, dude. And uh, you know what? I saw this guy come in, but here's what I thought I could do. I thought I could at least get forward momentum going. Like here, handoff. I was hoping I could just get one half step going this way, but I couldn't. Ran right into that shoulder. That's a good deal. Well, we're not X dig. The X dig has been good. It's, it's been good to me. I will be good to it. Yeah, 35 bucks is a good deal. Okay, we're in man. Ooh, yikes. Uh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, I feel like it's got to be Waller or McMillan. I don't know if I want to throw double coverage into double coverage. It looks like Harper's doubled. Oh, he jumped. Okay, okay, McMillan, get me. Yes, come back. Yes, he didn't drop it. And I had the flags. We're covered. At the 42 yard line. Look like offsides. Here's the official. You know, ironically, 14, I think, is the one I haven't played much. I started playing NCA with 04. And I basically played all of them after that. Uh, it's actually a clear run, like an actual option. Double option. Give left, run right, yeah. Um, that's the one I haven't played that much. I do have it, but for whatever reason, when the game came out, I think I'd already been playing. I was playing 13 a bunch. Okay, I'm reading the left defensive end. If he gets blocked, I do want to go Hollis. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a cluster. I'm super glad I didn't pitch it. I actually tried to pitch it during one of the break tackles, so I'm glad I didn't. Uh, let's go receiver. Level. But I think when 14 came out, I had already been playing 13 a ton, and I think I was just kind of ready for a break from NCAA, so I played 14 a little bit, but not a whole lot. And uh, you know, I'm not let Waller do his route. And so I just I never went back to it. So it's been just collecting dust for what eight years or whenever it came out. Oh, gotta snap it. Okay, let's go Waller. Oh my gosh, dude! I can't even get a pass off. When he does this super long wind up, like it takes him a day to pass it. it takes him freaking a week. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. Okay, so 14, and, and the, the thing that's interesting about 14, from what I understand, is that it has a different physics engine, right? It doesn't have the, it has the ragdoll engine that 13 doesn't have, and it's the only addition with that, right? Number 16, lines up in the shotgun. There we go. So kind of ideal would be just a plain cover three where I could hit Harper. Oh, what? That's actually kind of what we got. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, he held on. I can't believe that. At the Not a good pass. It kind of floated. That's what you have to do I was going open for more of a laser. Yeah. Oh, you know what? The thing that confounds it is the fact that McMillan's coming in with this That's deep in. Conversion. He brings the brings defender with him. Yeah, another spam, dude. People, the spam bots are recognizing me. Does that mean I made it? Does that mean I'm big time? I'm getting spammed? Man, okay. I'm going to do the Waller. I'm going to do the, the manual flare out to Waller here. Looks to pass. He passes it. How, how does he? I tap the button. He's supposed to float it. That is weird. Was the intended receiver on that pass? 
So that'll make it second down. Okay, let's go double option. We'll probably audible out. They'll probably, probably stack the box. Okay, actually don't. So this is give left, run right. Do they shift? They're not shifting. Going with the shotgun here. Here's the option. Let's go forward. Good view. Dude, look at the push. Look at this. Watch them. Watch the line. Boom. Look at that. When do I ever get that? Ironically, I only get two yards on one of the best pushes you'll ever see by my own line. How's Gidry doing? Ninety-two kick pow, and that is a fifty-eight yarder. So we need at least a few yards. I'll do a fifty-five. I really don't want to do beyond the fifty-five. Let's check out halfback wheel. I'm good with something short to just pick up a few and do the field goal. I wouldn't mind a blitz like go to Waller. Okay, they kind of do. They kind of do. Let's just. Uh, I don't. I didn't trust that. Okay, nice. The thing I was scared. So I like going to McMillan here, but the thing is, he cuts his route off, and I just don't know when it is, and it's right there. <laughs> oh man. So I kind of had Waller-ish, but their pursuit's super good, so he's probably not going to get too far if I throw it to him. Momentum is overpowered. So yeah, I do. It, it's absolutely true. So there are a lot of times in this game. Oh, here, oh I do have quarter sit. Okay, let's run it. There are a lot of situations where you have to play per the momentum and not the game situation. Like, like if you're, say you're, it's fourth and short on the opponent's 40. And you have momentum. In real life, where there's no momentum, you go for it. But in here, if you have momentum, you want to preserve that momentum. If it's, if it's a closer game, you're going to want to preserve that momentum. You're going to want to punt. Because the risk is too great. Because if you lose that momentum, it could just start an avalanche. Okay, Victor Dean on the little end there. Drops back to the it's there. It's there. Yeah. Oh, he got hit. Okay. I was about to say, that's a terrible pass. Dude, they keep, oh, man, they keep sending one more guy than I have in block. Was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. Let's go balanced. Yeah, it is. It, the momentum matters way too much. But it's just, to me, it's, it's fun managing that. It's part of the game, and it gives more. It makes the game more dynamic, where you just have to worry about more things. Because I feel like if you just, if you're just pure X's and O's, 06 is good. It doesn't have jump to snap, I don't think. Dude, I can't even get a pass off. He tucks this one. Oh, yeah, he sort of goes for the tuck. So, dude, just dump truck my left guard. Let's go five wide. Let's spread them out. Gambler, Gambler looks pretty good. So maybe Harp or Dean. Also, if McMillan's on an island, we can go to McMillan. He's been beaten up on that corner all day. It's not. It's Victor Dean. Oh no, that's bad. Oh dude, look at the pass. If this is not a good pass, it's picked. Look at this. So I throw, as soon as I throw this, look what I see. I see this dude right here, right in line with the ball. But he put enough air under it to where that guy couldn't get to it. Wow, we got lucky. I mean, it was a good pass. I shouldn't say luck. It was a good pass by McDade. Yeah, that was excellent. Let's go here, backside in. I don't either. I don't either. Because it's like blocking's not perfect in real life. So you should have to live with imperfect blocking. In a four wide set. You know, if you're into a full immersive experience, if like I said, if you just want X's and O's and that's it, and if it's like, oh, this guy has a guy, this guy's blocking, and we want to block, and if you don't have, if you don't want to have to worry about blocking, then O six is the way to go. You just it's pure X's and O's. You don't have to worry about anything like that. There's no momentum. There's no uh, there's no snap jump. So blocking is generally be good. Like blocking's predictable. Like if you have five guys blocking four, they don't blitz. You can pretty much bet you're going to get a second or two to throw. Yeah, exactly. And you can use it. It's super fun on defense. Yeah, 100%. Okay, Watkins. Watkins, let's see if we can get him. I don't know. Not really. Not really. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we can actually run in. He's too fast. I'm normally not about the scrambling because they don't guard it too well, but we're trying to win a game. Yeah, but it's fun. To me, it's super fun trying to get the get the jump and trying to find your mismatches. And and also, I don't know if you noticed, uh, it's, or this is how it seems to me at least, 
if you get a he successful snap jump and, and knock a guy and down, you probably won't knock him down a second time in a row with the same guy. So you kind of have to move your guys around. You kind of have to change who you use, I feel like. At least that's my experience. Back to return. He really got a hold of that kick. Gidry looking good. So Gidry maybe could let me that 15 yard. Ah. And actually, next season, I, I'm going to be taking a break after the season, but if, if slash win, I pick this uh, dynasty back up. I actually want to get a, uh, I want to make one of my defensive ends impact and do a season where I just rush the passer because I haven't done that. The last couple of seasons, I've been using this guy, Darren Smith, the dot. Harris primarily gains around three yards on the run. Second, and seven. Second down, Ball seven yards to go. Yard line. This has been fun. Man defense working. It's it's been fun. Last uh, several games. Coker back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Nice. He just pass. overthrew them on that one. Quarterback has to make those passes. You can't overthrow. Third and seven. Like okay, let's go for a snap jump here. We have two guys in, in the zone in coverage, 24. so we'll go Third for it here. Seven. Turn my sound up a bit. We have a mismatch here with Carter on this guy. Harris. Alone in the backfield. I didn't get it. He's probably going to run. There he goes. Get him. Oh, that's a sack, too. He didn't get past the line. Nice. And it might be that guy. five sacks on the season for this guy. I think teams really need to start keying in on this kid as a serious threat. He's played really well this year. They come out in a punt formation. McMillan will be the return man. Yeah, so that guy Carter, he might be one. Also, the other guy Sullivan, both my defensive ends, I think they're rated the same. They're both like 88 or 89. I'm not sure I catch that. Not a lot of trouble. Really want to. Let's try to run a bit. Let's see if we can do this. Trip option week. Why not? Another storyline in this game was this guy Waller, my best running back. He has, uh, he's been, he was suspended for like six games. Ah, dude. But th this has happened a couple of times now, where it's like they jump early, but I don't know if it, I don't know what the deal is. It wouldn't like it auto snap. I didn't hit A. At least we got a few though, because I wanted to hand it off. Option give. What are we looking at here? Triple option. Okay, so we just ran that. Let's run QB slot. It's second and four to go. Yes. So the, exactly, it is. 07 running game is way more fun than 06, and I think a big part of that is when you get tackled, you fall forward way more often. Turn it. Okay, go forward. You, you fall forward a lot more on the tackle animations, so it makes it worth it to like, like here in 06. In 06, you basically just it's sideline, sideline, sideline. Get it to the fast guy, run sideline. Get, get speed, it's speed, and it's sideline. And here, power running is more viable because you get the fall forward, so it's it makes more sense to take a powerful guy and run him into a pile, or just hit a hole. Like say this hole has like one guy. In 06, you're not going to want to go there because you're not going to get any yards. But in 07, you might fall forward, so it's worth it to hit the hole where you're just going to be taking on one defender. So I don't remember why it was exactly, but I have had an issue with with uh, with discipline in this dynasty to where I got on probation. And so I think I suspended him for more than they recommended just to get the interest meter down. I don't remember the exact reason he got suspended, though. I don't know if this is a good third down play. This, these routes have not been that open, so I'm going to have to scramble here. Akshar Hollis, get a good turn up field. Yes, got it. Yeah, 07, the running game is way better. And so that's another reason 06 gets super stale is because everything is it's all it's, – it's get to a fast guy, get a sideline. And uh, another thing that I think is cheesy about 06 is, like, it's one of the best ways to run is to catch the defense in man and run one guy away. So, like, get him in man and run this guy over just so there's nobody there. So you basically just want to motion your guys towards there's nobody there and then run there. It's cheesy. It's just not fun. And it's it's good. I mean, it's it's viable, but it's like I'd rather not have to do that. I'd rather run a play, see where the holes are, see who blocks. You know, look more like real life. Because I feel like if you play the game in that way and you make those reads, uh, I just I feel like the game doesn't play that far from real life. You just you have to exercise some willing suspension of disbelief in some ways, but like jump the snap, blocking is imperfect in real life. With momentum, sometimes a team that's better is is not going to play as well. You know, to me that just goes along with the uh, normal ebb and flow of sometimes your team is not going to be on their game. They're not going to execute. You know, execution is not perfect. So if like a guy doesn't block or a guy drops a pass, execution is not always perfect. 
So in, in that way, I feel like the game is actually pretty realistic because situationally, it's the same things are happening that would happen in real life. Like the execution of them is not exactly right. Like bad blocking is not going to be because your left guard gets blown on his, you know, gets knocked onto his back hardcore. I'm going to go to Maddox. Oh, no. Ah, darn it. Dude, he's gotten, well, shoulder's not good. Okay, my backup is really good. Ah, that sucks. Let's go here. Let's go mesh. Second and five. Second and five. So yeah, I, I think if you're if you're willing to like look at things in overall situations and not exact execution, I think the game's actually pretty realistic. Right. Ah, can't get that, dude. They're just not giving me anyone, man. They're playing perfect coverage. These crossing routes are totally covered. I guess I had Victor Dean over there. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right first there on that play. Ball it's on first and ten. One yard line. The Bulldogs are lining up with three receivers. Okay, let's pick on him again. Oh, I keep, dude, I keep, I keep getting hit on the throw. He throws down. He's not even getting hit as he throws. He just throws down because he had a guy near him. Not a pretty pass right there. No, Definitely not a pretty perfect. pass. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Ball on the it's second and ten. Yard line. Ball on the 41 yard line. Yeah, exactly. The, you can you can find it for pretty cheap. Fresno State. Lines up in a shotgun set. Throws it. There we go. It's yes. Complete. Oh, nice. Fall forward. And Perfect. Go. At the first. A nice looking play didn't get the first. Well, I feel like he got that. I think they gave me a bad again. spot. Let's go for curl flats. I haven't run this very much, so let's go for it. Line it up again on third down. On Six to ten on third. So I think at halftime I was one out of five. So clearly I'm stepping that up. Mill lines up with four wide Mr. Dean, get me. Nice. Oh, he held on. Yeah, I totally agree. This game's good. I mean, 06 is still good. I know I'm saying this game is way better than 06, and it is. But 06 is still a good game, too. It's first and it offers its own charm. It has better player celebrations. It's definitely got stuff going for it. Okay, let's audible to double option because they have super dime right now. Oh, I forgot Mills. Nobody can hear him. Mills' composure is terrible. Okay, we got this. So I think this is handoff Dean left, run wall right. Mill on the option right. There we go. Nice. And he's tackled at the 22. Seven yards there. So no injury report yet on on McDade. I don't care for that. Let's go back to some two back. Let's go double options. This is handoff left, run right. It's a similar deal. Second down, three yards. Two quarters, so he's out for the game. At least he's not out longer than that. We're pretty much in control here. Our score, Fresno State 28, Arizona State 7. I think I should just give this to Mills. Mills. There we go. See, that's what I was talking about the other time, where I got smacked immediately. I was hoping I could get forward a little bit, just to get it going up field. So let's do option pass. Let's hope they don't stack the box. 5-2. So this isn't too bad. They do have five down linemen. Yikes. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the composure to audible here, so I'm going to have to run this. But at least it's a run option here, so I can just give it to Hollis. Mills. Oh, dude. They wouldn't give it to me. Davis gets in the That's so frustrating. I don't know what the deal is. Why does he go back here? It's oh, supposed to go to Hollis, and he just stands there frozen. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Well, what dictates that? Really quick he have any time hey, at least we can get, uh, I guess, a four-score lead, right? That'll post up by 24. I guess it's only three touchdowns and three two-pointers. Oh, yikes. Did he miss that? Nope. We tried. Good. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. It was a good snap, a good hold, and then a good kick. Yeah, I, I do want to try 09 at some point because it looks super fun. Just the extra stuff they have. It looks, you know, kind of how 06 to 07. 07 adds a ton. It looks like 09 adds a ton, too. The only thing I think I don't like about 09 is it appears to have some degree of the pursuit angle bug. Where defenders take terrible angles that they should. But uh, I don't know if that's uh, like an awareness thing. Oh, can't quite get there. Nice pass. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have played fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense. But I know in, in 08, it's basically unplayable with that pursuit bug. In 09, it might just be guys that have lower awareness. I'm really not sure. And 
he's tackled. At the I might have to comment on uh, on Tone's video and ask him about that. Play. It's second down. Because if it's guys that have low awareness, then I get it, you know, and it actually it's more realistic for guys who have low awareness to take bad angles. So in that way, if that's the case, I think that'd be totally fine. It keeps finding the guy that I'm not covering. This QB's pretty good. We'll run one more play. If they get another long game, we'll have to switch to zone. Because I'm okay giving up some gains here, just not like 15 yard gains every time. With a nice play yeah, they keep finding the guy. The yeah, we gotta go zone. We're getting torn up right now. So let's do this. Let's go here. We'll try to game it a bit. We'll call it uh, something man. And we'll audible to uh, cover two. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Harris. I actually ran it. Darn it. Smith. With a takedown at the six. How mm. about that run by this half? Okay, let's go here. You know let's what? go for some run stop. Let's get some guys on the line. Like this. Watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right because you now let's man up. worry about the run and let's man up over here. Uh, oh, give me that. Oh, it gave me a garbage animation. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm in position. Oh, I'm in position. Look at this. Does this not look perfect? This is perfect. Look at the freaking animation. Warps me backwards. Dude, that is crap. I had that. I freaking had that. And what, what is this garbage too? If this if this animation finishes, he's not even gonna catch it. The ball's gonna whiz by his head to the left. I'm in perfect position. Oh my goodness. They're going for two now, as they should. Oh my goodness. That's frustrating, man. I guess it's because he's not a dot. He's good though. Edwards is really good. I guess I need to go for a bat down here. Harris is the single setback. They'll go with the run once again. Ooh, look at that. Wait, what was this? Didn't it say two-point conversion failed fumble, or was it success fumble? So I think he got it, but he fumbled? Somebody, look, Can someone clip that? I want to see what happened. Lemon pepper my wings. This is 07. You are almost there. So they're, they might be going for an onside here. I don't know. They are not. This is 07 on regular Xbox. Original, non 360. Welcome. Have you been in? Your name sounds familiar. I thought maybe you'd been in here before. Let me pepper my wings. Maybe not. Hunter takes it at the four. <sighs> okay, I didn't want to get hit. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense. And now huddle up. Okay, let's run the ball. Try to run some clock. Yeah, th this is my favorite version. This is really my favorite version of the game. It's way better than 06. We we're just talking about it. It doesn't get its proper due. Wait a minute. Did I run is this double running back option? It is. Yes. Oh, darn it. Come on, stretch it out. Stay in bounds or don't. Thank you for the follow, Lemon Pepper My Wings. Much appreciated. Super, super kind. And I don't think they're done just yet. Yeah, this is my favorite version of the game. It's it's a lot. It's, it has so many improvements over 06. And that's also the one I have. This is also on on Xbox. They stopped making them. Let's go Maddox here. No. Dude, I'm not getting blocking because I want to go. Dude, that sucks. It's like third down along now, right? Second and two. Okay, we have a chance to get something back. Third and 23. 11. I do remember playing 11 a lot. Who Who is good in 11, though? Who are, like, the top players? It's been such a long time. I played 08 a lot on PS3 with my roommate at the time, who actually comes in here. He is J. Nickel 100. Okay, okay, McMillan. Get him. Dude. Okay. Oh, good pass. Way to come back to the ball. That looked dicey for a moment. Okay. This, I'm okay to run some more clock in this punt. We're up two scores. Let's actually go with this receiver middle. I wouldn't mind hitting McMillan again. Yeah, I played. I'm not sure if I played a lot of 11. I'm trying to remember who the big time player was in 11. Was it Tebow? I feel like Tebow was more like oh, 09 or something like that. Okay, we can hit McMillan. Float it. Yes, get that. Look at it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, this is a touchdown, too, because look at this. The DB takes himself out of the play. If McMillan can hit the ground and just run, dude, that's a touchdown because McMillan's fast. That's too bad. That's way too bad. So 
Oh, gosh. It's okay. We ran a minute, a minute and a half or so. Quinn is back awaiting the punt. All right, here we go. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Quinn takes it at the 20. Oh, goodness. That would have fooled me. Well, I look at it this way. Let's go. We'll go cover three. Ah, this makes me a little nervous, though. I almost want to go cover two, man, and just give up completions and let him run clock. We'll do this one play. The Devils line up in an eye formation. Fakes to the back. He unloads Yes. Okay, that's, that's good. We got kind of lucky there, though. So let's go back to nickel and do... We'll do cover one, actually. Cover one defends deep pass decently if you have good DBs, and we do. the offense can open things up for the big play. The Bulldog line up in a nickel back. Throw there. Nice. And this one falls incomplete. Mill was the Oh, they're doing quick snap too, so I might have to start abusing that a little bit. Let's rush one guy. We've got a third and six. Ball in the 29. Hmm. You know, I'm the man up hunter on this tight end. Harris lines up at the single back. Coker. Oh, we got that. Give me that. Let's go. That's for Google Muse. Yes. Yeah, I read that. They love going to the sideline. They almost they throw it almost no matter what. It's like impossible to guard it. I think in a way that they won't throw it. They always throw it. Or maybe if I played it differently, they would uh, they would they wouldn't throw it. I don't know. I guess that was Hunter. That's Muse. Did I say Hunter before? Yeah, Muse is good. But I'm always manualing or using uh, Darren Smith. There we go. That's what we want. A little bit of fall forward action with Waller. Gets three yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Keep gushing. Yeah, let's run that. Why not? And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters. We'll give the Waller again. Yeah, I played a ton of 08. So in 08, we ran. We actually played an online dynasty in 08 that was run off of. I think it was. Was it like League Daddy or something like that? And we were using Arkansas and we were doing Wildcat with Arkansas back when it first initially they, you know, it came onto the scene. Let's see. P. Reed. Let's actually do this. Let's see. Do they defend the pass? They're kind of stacking the box. Let's see if they audible out there. They often do. Not really. I might keep this and look for Hollis. Hmm. I'm going to fan the line. Okay, they all blocked. No, oh, he got off the block, though. That's okay. We'll take. They burn a timeout. We're good at that. Uh, we were using Wildcat, and the commissioner of the league was, he was a jerk. He was super, he was way of a jerk. And anyhow, it was true in that game that the Wildcat passing was way too good because it's basically like the option pass right in these games the where a great majority back, of the time your DBs will play the coming. play I as if it's just a run and they won't guard the DBs downfield. And so he outlawed uh, Wildcat passing. Just left and, went back to the frat house. and I think we ended up getting kicked out of the league because the owner was just an idiot and he would get mad. There was a message board we were talking on and people would get suit. He would get, like, anytime you'd say something that he didn't like, he would get mad and he would... If, you know, I think we just said too many things about him, and he ended up uh, picking us out, I think. Or the league just dis disbanded. It was super fun, though. Oh, goodness. Give me that. Oh, <laughs> jumped a little too, uh, a little too short. That was strange. Especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. It's second and ten. The Devils come out in the ace formation. We want to be deep. Back to pass with the oh, we got that. We got that. Oh, dude. I, I got stuck in a bad spot because I was on the target, and I need some running momentum to uh, to get to that. I don't know what's up with the quick, uh, the quick throws, though. Like the D-line isn't doing – I guess they're doing a little bit of a stunt. The right – the defensive tackle on the right there kind of runs inside. I'm not really sure what that's about. Looking to throw. He steps up, comes across the middle. Got him. And it's caught. They'll go for He's it, though. So here I actually want to jump the snap. Let's Solid go with game, cover two. Guys, but of the first down. Yeah, oh, here's what nice I'm going to do. Didn't get him the first down, we'll call cover one. I'm audible to cover two, and I'm going to jump the snap. This defense here we go. The game. So should be able to time this. I got the great jump, but I got pushed back like a beast. Oh, come on. No! Okay, well, we'll, we'll take that. 
couple of yards, clock runs, it's fine. So let's see, Nickel deep again, there we go. And not down there on the sideline. I thought that was a turnover on downs for sure, but give credit to the quarterback for keeping his composure and delivering on fourth down. There you have it, folks, your Coca-Cola players of the game. They really earned it out there today. This defense is in the dime. Coker drops back, wow. caught, brought down at the 44-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, maybe yeah, let's go cover. Simple. We'll try this one time. We'll go cover two. Are they call right. timeout? Okay, I was going to try to jump the snap, but not now. Let's stick with cover one. This is working well. They line up at the I'm okay with, Third down. you know, anything under 10 yards pretty much I'm fine with. This is when the impact player at tight end can make play. Coker drops back I saw that back. coming. I couldn't Complete get up there quickly enough. News. Brings him down at the 48 yard That's definitely a man beater out. This little, I guess, it's, I guess it's just a slant. I don't know. They might want to run yeah, that like just a slant. A plays. He had some options out there. Uh, yeah, let's go cover two and try to jump it. The devil line up with a single. It's not giving me the blowback. Ooh. Right ah, darn it. What if I get there for the bat down. So that went for a big gain. And a All right, let's uh, we'll stick with cover one. Aggressive play call, throwing it on first down. Yeah, that's a great play. So their last red zone visit resulted in a Darn it. Okay, Let's not in. Defense can hold them this time. That was a so here, I want to run cover two, but I want to run some spies like as well. Darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles so I think he might run. Harris is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He looks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, we got, got a couple of chances at that one. Oh my gosh. Brown and then Hunter. Darn it. Uh, they might be running it here. I'm not sure though. Let's stick with spies again. The Sun Devil are lining up with three receivers. Drop back to pass. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, let's do it again. Too wide. I'm gonna stick with the nickel. I feel like if I call dime, they might just run it in. I don't want to do that. King, dude, my guys are tired. They subbed out Sullivan. Fresno State. Brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. It. Two, yes. Got it. The Brown, let's go. Hoof it out. Oh, nice. So third time's a charm. We basically had we had that on each of the last two plays. We didn't hold on. All right, very nice. Let's just uh, give to Hollis, call it a day. Start this drive at the eight. What kind of yardage do I have? 314? No, 308. They've actually outgained me. Got him. The bulldog set up in the gun. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. There we go. So I think we beat him on guard yard on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? <laughs> a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Oh man, is this. Game was probably not as close as the final score indicates. We were pretty much always in control, even from the beginning. Missed tackle. He's taken down at the 37. Yes, Legend of the Fallen. Thank you for the uh, the emo wall. Where did the emo wall come through? Because I actually didn't see it. Arizona State came I just looked and saw that you threw on some emotes. Not expecting to win. They need to develop that winning attitude and mentality if they're going to win these type of games. Folks, it's yeah, it's coming through. Fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score in this <laughs> there we go. Fresno State, there we go. It's my my screen Arizona that I'm looking State at. I'm just looking 15. at purely the game, Messler, so I don't always see those that come through. Thank you. So long. The spirit of chat gets me through. So how do we do? I know McDade did not have that great of a day. Twenty of thirty-two, two forty-two. Okay. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. That's not bad. What is that per attempt? Like eight yards, seven and a half. Rushing. McDade came through again. Waller with a good average. See, that's who we need. We needed Waller in here. Like, Hollis is good, but he's he's not as good of a runner. Well, Arkansas should still be number one, I think. McMillan. This, this is the stat line I like. My number one receiver getting number one stats. That is for sure what I like. Harper's kind of got the, the crap end of it. Four picks. Muse with quite a day. Two sacks. That's good. My two bookend uh, defensive ends. Yeah, I'm thinking we're probably still number two unless Arkansas lost. So USC lost, but they were number like 10.
still number two, so Arkansas apparently did not lose. But they're going to have to play the SEC championship. Depending on who that is, they could go down. Our number two, Razorbacks, are slated to play in the championship game at season's end. How is McDade? McDade is still on top. Quite a year for him. So there we go. USC next week. Let's check our suspensions. Get a sneak preview of that. Nobody. That's good. An injury. We just have the one offensive lineman, I think. Yep. That's going to do it, guys. So the next stream will be USC. I'm thinking that'll be probably Wednesday. I'm looking at Wednesday. I just have some stuff going on this week. So that'll be like the day before Christmas Eve. That'll probably be when I hop on. So let me see if there's anyone to host here. I don't know if, given that it's Sunday morning, probably not. Yeah, not really seen anyone. All right, that's gonna do it for the stream, guys. Legends of the Fallen. Yep. See you later, man. Have a good, uh, have a good day. Merry Christmas to you, you all. Lemon pepper my wings. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream for the first time. I think I thought I recognized your name, but maybe not. I am PSP. Thank you, Dennison Gaming, as always. Urban Meyer, as always, appreciated. To some of the regs dropping in. I think that's gonna do it, guys. So next time USC. Hopefully we can take them down and get that national championship berth. It'll be our third national championship appearance. So I'm pretty excited for that. Leg two of three of the gauntlet is down, so good stuff. All right, well, I'm going to hop off. So thanks again, guys, and have a good rest of your Sunday. See you next time.